everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while but January has been such a crazy month and I didn't really have a chance to do my unboxing for you guys. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is I'm going to do my January teacher care crate unboxing and I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Orange County Q conference I went to on Saturday. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you subscribed, liked this video, and commented down below. And let's jump right into it. Okay, so for January, I know it's February, but you can still get the January box. I know Sarah from The Designer Teacher, she always has a few boxes left at the end of the month that you can still purchase. And you can always subscribe to get the February box. All right, so let me jump into it. I need to grab a scissor somewhere. Hang on one second. Okay, one reason why January was so crazy for me is because we went to sixth grade camp and we went to, uh, I think it was about 10 minutes away from Big Bear City, but it was up in Big Bear, it was really cold. I know if anyone is from a really snowy place, uh, you probably might not think it was cold, but it was really cold for me. I think at night it went to maybe 30 degrees and in the morning it was about 40 to 50, but I was freezing. I was freezing. But anyways, getting all the paperwork set up, all the medication, all of the students prepped, all the parents prepped, it was a lot of preparation, but it was totally worth it. Everyone had a great time, we were all safe, and it was really nice going up there to the mountains. Okay, so, it's been way too long. I've seen some spoilers, but I think it's been too long that I kind of forgot what the spoilers were. So it'll be new for both of us. All right, here we go. Whoa. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. So we're starting off with a very mystical looking card full of purples and greens. Looks very magical. On the back, it says, teachers are magical. Teachers have their own kind of magic and this month's crate is all about celebrating it. So let's dive on in. So before I forget, the boxes run $29.99 a month and if you want to do a three month prepay, it'll be $27.99. So if you know for sure you're gonna get it, might as well do the three month prepay because it's just a touch cheaper. All right, so the first thing in the box is this art print. This one says, you are magical. Okay, so this art print has a little apple, a little purple pencil, cup of coffee, some crayons, and a pin. Super cute, and it was designed by the letter piece. Super, super cute. Okay, so that was the art print. I'm going to put that to the side. So the next item in the box is this little black pouch. I wonder what's inside. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so the next item in the box was this black pouch and inside it was this little star barrette. So it just opens like this. So you just open the barrette and you know, I think you just grab your hair and pin it. So the other item in the black pouch was this necklace and let me try focusing it for you. So on camera it kind of looks like a black color but it's actually navy blue. So in the pouch we had this really pretty necklace, we'll just pop that back in and we also had the star barrette. So whoop, I always need more jewelry in my closet so thank you teacher care crates. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, so my eyes are immediately going to this teal color, which is my favorite color, this little turquoise mint color. And let's see what this is. It kind of looks like the top of a tumbler of some sort. Most teachers need a little help from coffee or tea to let their magic shine, so you'll find a collapsible travel cup that will let you get your fix while helping the environment. Ooh, I really could have used this when I went to camp. So it's a collapsible travel sized mug. So let's see how it works. So here's what it looks like on the inside. I'm assuming that's a straw and it's in my favorite color. So I am definitely going to use this as much as possible. So let's try figuring this out together. It's a mug, so it's gotta come out somehow. Ooh, oh, I'm definitely gonna have to clean this. It smells very, it smells like silicone-y. Okay, so I'm assuming this part is to stabilize the cup. 
All right, all right, here we go. We've got a handle going on, because without this, it'll be really squishy. And you put your coffee in, spin this around, and, and there you go. I love the color on this, and it's such a great way to help our environment by not using so many plastic cups. All right, so that was the collapsible travel mug, and this is the first time I've ever seen a collapsible mug of some sort, so it was pretty cool to have that in the box. So I guess to deconstruct it, you just pop this guy back in, pop the sleeve in, it comes... It comes with a straw, so if you're an iced coffee drinker like me, this straw comes in handy. Let me just pop that guy back in. Ah. And put the top back on. So I can't wait to start using this. I know for sure I'm going to have to wash it a couple times because with silicone, it has that little rubbery smell, so I want to make sure that doesn't transfer onto the coffee because that's going to be an interesting coffee taste. All right, so there we go. Okay, so the next item the next item in the box is I have my eye on this essential oil maybe. I love essential oils and I love having a nice roller ball. So let's see what it is. Alright, so it's the Hippie Homesteader Essential Oil Serum Sweet Dream. So I think it's supposed to help with sleep. I love lavender, so I'm hoping it smells like lavender. Oh, I definitely smell lavender. Let me see. So I, I love the scent of lavender and it smells really, really good. So I will definitely be using this. So I'm just going to put this on my wrists and you can also put on your neck and the bottoms of your feet as well. So <sighs> it smells so good. Okay, so the next item in the box is this sticker and it says... And it says, teachers are magical, I think. This is super cute. I love how all of the items are flowing with this magical crystal theme. Alrighty, so we're getting to the bottom of the items. The bottom of the items? We're getting to the last of the items and <gasps> this box is speaking to me this month because we have a Korean face mask and this one is Botanical Fuse Lavender Soothe and Relieve. I might be a little biased, but I think Korean face masks are the best. And I hate that they overprice it here. If you go to Korea, they sell, they sell these really nice face masks for a really great price. And when you come over to the face mask shop like Target or anywhere else, they just overprice them like crazy. So when I go to Korea this year, I am going to stock up on as many face masks as possible. And it's in my favorite scent, lavender, so these actually pair really nicely together. All right, so the last item in the box is, oh. Okay, so the last item in the box is this tea drop and I think you just pop it in. So it just says to pour it, pour your water, drop it, and enjoy. Hmm. My teen teacher, Tina, is obsessed with tea. She drinks it almost every day. And when we went to camp, she had tea almost, I think, I think she had a tea cup in her hand the whole time. So I'm going to give this to her because I think she'd really like it. And it's blueberry acai with white tea, blueberry, and acai. And it doesn't have a lot of caffeine in it, but I think she'll enjoy it. So I will save that for her. Overall, those are all of the items for the January box. Let's count to see what is inside. So we have one, two, ah, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven items. Am I missing one? I guess eight if you count the barrette and the necklace as separate. I love all of the boxes, but I really love all of the items in here, especially the mask, 
the essential oil, the sticker, and I love the uh, collapsible travel mug. All right, so that was it for my teacher care crate unboxing. Definitely subscribe. It's such a great way for teachers to practice self-care. Keep on watching if you'd like to see what I got from the Q conference that I went to on Saturday. First of all, when I signed up to go to the Q conference on Saturday, I didn't realize it was the day that we came back from camp. So it's been a pretty long week, but I really love going to the Q conference and I feel that I learned so much by going. Here's the little tote bag that they give you when you sign up. So the Q conference was a whole day of professional learning where you kind of go in, they have a schedule of little PD sessions that you can choose from and I think overall it was four. So I went to two in the morning, had some lunch and then you went to two afterwards. And this theme was all about technology. So you learn different ways to include technology in the classroom. And I learned a lot about edu protocols, which I haven't heard about before Saturday. So I am going to make a video once I try testing it out a little bit. I'll do a video showing you guys because it is a great way to include technology and it makes learning a lot easier. So I'm really excited. First of all, I got this t-shirt and it says OCQ on the back with an orange. So I was really excited to get this t-shirt because I love gray t-shirts. I love educational t-shirts that I can wear to work and I love oversized t-shirts and I got a large in this one so it's nice and cozy. So that is my favorite item that I got from the conference. Let's see what else. So they had a little area where you can decorate your name tag and I thought it was really cute. They had a bunch of stickers from, I think it's like Happy Planner. They had a bunch of stickers where you can just make it, make your name tag however you want. And I just put a few of my favorite things. They didn't have a cat, but they had a dog, coffee, flamingos, and tropical stuff. So I just put that on. All right, so, oh! I put this in here because I really wanted to show everyone that when I went to sixth grade camp, the counselors made all the teachers a tree cookie. And I think it's so cute that they called it a tree cookie. So it has my name on it and then it says High Trails 20 on the back. And so it was just really thoughtful of them to make one for us. So I'm definitely gonna keep this in my memory box. They had raffles all day and I really wanted to win this lemur plush, but I didn't get called, but I got runner up, which was this lunch pail. And I actually needed a lunch pail, so. And it's so cute and small, so it'll be perfect for my little lunches. So that actually worked out. I'm really sad about the lemur. I think it was from a company, Aludo. I think it was from the company Aludo and you won a three month subscription and then you won their lemur plush. But I was just looking at the lemur because I love stuffed animals. Okay, so one of my favorite items that I got was this white book, which is kind of like a portable whiteboard. And there was an amazing speaker, Ed Campos, and I will link his information down below. But he talked about defronting the classroom by defronting not having a specific front where the desks are facing the teacher desk forward by making all of his walls whiteboard by, I think he did some whiteboard paint on all of his walls, which I can't do in my school, but I thought it was really cool. So his kids were getting up, doing the math on the walls, making it a lot more engaging for the students and, and it really worked well for his classroom. So he was explaining how you can, if you can't do the whiteboard paint, you can just have 10 of these around the classroom and have the kids move up, get up, show the work by writing directly on the walls, per se. So I thought that was awesome. And after his session, he gave one white book to every single person that attended his session. So I thought that was really generous of him. I might have to do this for my donors choose because I think it's a really cool idea having the kids go up and walk around. So I really love that. So those are pretty much the main pieces. I got so many stickers. Like I got a little Pear Deck sticker, a little Twitter sticker. This is Ed, This is a sticker of Ed Campos and I thought that was super cute. This sticker is really cool. This one says Game of Chromes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I have my water bottle because 
Ew. We all need to drink more water. Oh, here was the lemur. It was a Ludo, and they have the cutest lemur plush. And I know I should have been looking at the program for my students, but I was looking at that lemur because it was so cute. Okay, so that was pretty much it. I think the main thing I wanted to show you was my tree cookie and the white book. So I'm gonna try doing a donor's choose for this white book because I definitely wanna include more activities in the classroom for my students to get up and move around. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. This video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna stop it right there. I just wanted to thank everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. I know my first year of vlogging is kind of all over the place. I don't have a set schedule of when I want to upload videos, but I try to do one every week. So thank you for supporting me and my videos by liking, commenting. I really appreciate it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I hope everyone has a perfect month and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!